right, we are back in TBTC. Rob Thames, RT, David Abernathy, the Director of Sales and Education over here and co-founder of Tsunami Bar. One of the things we're going to talk about today is one of the many, many, many leg exercises that we do in strength and conditioning. You know, squats, we all carry it on our back and sit down, we stand up. We do front squats, we do hack squats, we do all kinds of squats. Today we're going to talk about the searcher squat. It is a staple in a lot of people's strength and conditioning program, and I used to do it a lot back in the day. And it really helped me a lot in the physique end of it, because I would get my feet close together and sit down and give me a great emphasis on my quads, and I could really pump a lot of blood into them. But athletically, we might take a different approach. Now, one thing with the Zercher squat with the steel bar back in the day, it just killed the cup of my elbow, just carrying that bar in the cup of my elbow. Today, David's gonna talk about what makes this bar a little bit more special, comfortable to carry, and why the Zercher squat is so good, you need to have it in your toolbox. Coach? Thanks, Coach. Yeah, like Coach talked about, so the good thing about the bar, we all know, is that it flexes, so it lays in the cuff of the elbow. It's nice, it's gentle, it lays across, it bends. You don't have that knurling digging into your skin, as we all have before. Some use towels to throw in there, or a t-shirt or whatever, to try to cover it up, just to be able to get this exercise completed. Now don't have to worry about that. So this fits smoothly. The two inch diameter makes a big difference too when it sits in the cuff. It's a little fatter, that skinnier bar, one inch bar, just, it just screws right into your arm. It just kills you. Mm. So this here, this is a lot more comfortable, and this, it allows you to get a little deeper too because the bar bends and it flexes. So I'll show you that right now. As you see me go down, you'll see my hip girdle open up. And so it's a great stretching exercise too. As I sit down and I come to fire out my posterior chain, my glutes, my erectors, and then my abductors are going to squeeze in and I'm going to shove that bar back up. Just as if I'm in a power position or a football position, if you're a football coach. So I'll perform that right now. So as we do it, we address the bar. All right, we want it to fit nicely to the cuff of the elbow. We'll come in, we'll address the bar, we'll walk it out. I try to keep my hands up as much as I can so the bar doesn't tilt out. So I want to come in, walk it out, walk out, and then, of course, hip hinge, sit. You want to work on flexibility. It's a good way just to sit with the bar and to stretch your hips out, too. We can go to the Olympic bar before, before we power plane. It's just a good way to work on some good knee bend, some good hip flexibility work at the same time. As I get ready to fire back out, I'll set my core back in and fire my hips back up through. As you see the bar, it oscillates as you come back up and you got really engaged. Man, I tell you what, that was fantastic. Now, where would you place this exercise? You got back squat, you got sled pushing, you got a lot of leg work that you're doing uh, uh, before season, in season. How would you rotate this in uh, with particular squat moves to round out your program? Right, Coach. Well. There's not a lot of things you can replace the back squat with, but we do alternate with the front squat. All right, so we're trying to get heavy, of course, with back squat. We're trying to do frontal plane work, we're going to do front squat. But if I'm in football season, or I'm in basketball season, or baseball season, I jam up my elbow, my wrist, my shoulder. It's tough for kids to hold it in that position. This allows us to do a modifier, okay? But the modifier is really just as good or better because you're in a frontal plane. The anterior has to really engage, and that posterior has to fire and come out of the hole. It really gets you that hip hinge on that firing out power position, Coach. Man, I'll tell you what, that's great information. TsunamiBarsports.com, the blog page, you can find out all of this and much more if you keep checking into that particular website and that, and that blog page. Coach David Abernathy, Rob Thames, look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks. Thank you.